Hello everybody and welcome to OHPW, the only wrestling event streamed live from the end of time, the beginning of nowhere, from hell! And I didn't get tired of that intro yet somehow. Despite thinking it was very stupid when I first did it. Well, maybe I should allow for the chance to layer so when you do them at the exact same time, it's louder and actually, like, destroys my ears. But hey, that's okay. That's, mm. that's, I should probably not risk that. Let's just talk about the matches uh, for today instead. Uh, <laughs> um, well, Chaperone Royale, Suman is still it. Going against Plumeria. Maybe. Suman will finally be able to rid himself of this, well, dishonor. But after that, we get another match with somebody who could probably be defeated by Suman. <laughs> Hank Muscles, one of the young devils, goes against Weep Weaver, which um, should be an experience for Hank. And once we're done with that, we get our first real match completely selling everything happening up till now. Short, the real beer float go against Pineapple Pete's in a tag team match. Which will probably be good. And Grace gets a... a worthy challenger. Well, somebody I threw at her, really. Grace goes against Canada Elderman, aka Rosette. And... yeah. I don't think we've seen these two face each other yet. Not in a singles match. And after they're done, the Aura 66, like all four of them, go against Criminal Sanity, like all four of them. And after that, Vacant takes on a challenger for the bunny title. And after that, we got our seven deadly pins battle royal, where King Skeleton, Lemuel Post, Anime, Hasmat, Spitball, Divine Coffee Binge, and Rick Too Thick try to take it from Caillou. They may or may not succeed, I don't even know, it's, it's hard to tell. Especially with some former champs in there as well. Gonna be an epic main event. I sure hope so, but first, this. Oh right, the bets. Shit, I completely forgot to set those up. Hold on, I, thankfully I'm very fast, so here. You can nail bet. And that was fast. Um, yeah, it was super fast, because I prepared it actually, I just didn't, like, make it actually here. Well, anyway. Should call you, should call you Sonic Sonicson. Well, minor spoiler, we have a new wrestler in the league who is a Sonic fan. Um, mm -hmm. he'll probably, like, I'll, I'll, I'll probably let him debut next week. Mm. But yeah, we have a Sonic fan coming out to a, a Spanish version of, of his world, or whatever that song is called, I forget. It's his world. I unironically like that song. Mm. I have but not all hell shadow. Well, maybe for our heel turn we can go with that. <laughs> uh, I actually did make an alt attire that is all red and black. For that mm. purpose. Well, uh, you don't even know what that person looks like yet, so what does it matter? You'll see next week, probably. Um, the week after that at the latest, but probably next week. For now, I'll give you 30 more seconds to place or change bets. And this match will be a thing that happens, I promise. Look, his world isn't even butt rock. It's more like... Um... Like, Some I don't, other kind of rock that people shame. I, I don't like the term butt rock anyway, because only very few people actually use it correctly. Like, they call music I actually like butt rock sometimes, which can't be right. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Let's rock. Imbeciles. Morons. Anyway, wrestling and- oh, we start with explosions right away. Also, there's a toaster in the ring again. Be wary of that. The toaster is what won Robot the match last week, no doubt. Giant sheet of glass, though. I hope it breaks mm. soon. Mm. 
But yeah, I, I should probably do what they always do and explain the match! Basically, the gimmick is uh, the ring explodes after 15 minutes and whoever loses gets the title. I think that's the most concise I've ever explained that. Uh-oh, the giant sheet of glass. Never mind, I was yeah. hoping something would happen with it. I mean, it did, it's just that it wasn't anything useful. Yeah, but something cool should happen. Thank you, there is no lightsaber that can never be used. So that can force so far. Mario had a chair there. Lots of weapon use too, and ah, the glass is dead. Yes, you're an argument. Cuts her ankle on a piece of wood, apparently. It's okay, we still got a stapler in here. Unfortunately, no, fall on one, but that's a missed opportunity. Well, it looks like Flamaria is already bleeding pretty decently. It looks like, uh, Suma's also bleeding. It's just we can't see it. Five minutes and Suman isn't even gassed yet. Ah, uh, well, he's he's breathing yeah. heavily though. Oh, there you go. No, that's not nice. gassed. That's the yeah. That, like, there's a different animation for actually being gassed. Gassed yes, stage one. It's an important distinction to make because people also breathe when they're not even exhausted. They just, oh yeah, I'm gonna breathe for a moment to make sure I don't have to breathe later. It's strategy. It's very smart, actually. Let me tell you that. Oops! Tombstone pile driver on a chair. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and the cross Ripping chop. This. Unfortunately, this does no damage, as it's just a taunt. There you go. Now he's breathing heavy. more explosions, please. I like those. Oh, is it another tombstone? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, it's, it's a reverse Dang. tombstone, even. Realize that, but it is. Because the actual move called Tombstone is belly to belly, kneeling down. This is like belly to back, kneeling down. What is Suman's finisher? It's uh, the Bonsai Drop or the Suman Drop, which she can't do in this match. action. Will get broken? No. If you're a Nagi, onto the bat. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow. What the fuck? Wow. I didn't see that coming at all. Won. I, I absolutely didn't see that coming. God damn. I would describe Finally. this as an upset and he's completely, completely exhausted.
That's the best. Yeah. But he won, so he did he gets win. to uh, pass well, out in the locker room later, I guess. Well, for the pay-per-view, he can, like, a high-profile singles match against one of the strongest guys and lose. Yeah. You heard it here, folks. Suman versus Susan Blades, I guess. <laughs> now, let's let's watch us announcing that and then Suman not having a match for, like, three months or so. I don't even know. I yes. almost accidentally said it so Plumeria won, which he didn't. Ah, uh, well. Uh, well. Uh, Suman didn't actually, like, make any new records like Caillou did, who is in today's main event. But... What about Ego's record? Uh, it, Ego's been surpassed by Caillou, but um, I think Ego was, like, I forget, it was, like, either 9 or 10, but I don't have them... Yeah. Booking sheet open, so I can't really check. Neither do I want to. But... Yeah. Just well, know that's... that Suman isn't as bad as somebody else was. Yeah, it's Pomeria, the jobber of Team Skull, apparently. Uh, it's funny that the bosses are the jobbers, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Let's just set up the next match. Which is already set up, or should be set up. Good thing it didn't delete it or something. Well, the bets are live, and you can do the thing here with them. I have a feeling that the person who doesn't look like a jobber will win. Maybe. Actually, oh, I forgot. I gotta set it up correctly. OHPW Young Devil Attire. Slightly different colors. A bit more personality. Now maybe Hank has a chance. Maybe. Much like Terra last week, Hank's here to learn a lesson. <laughs> Well, well. Surprised a lot of people believe in Hank. Well, surprising that anybody believes in Hank, really. I think that's more than Tara got last week. Absolutely maybe, no one believed in her. Maybe they just don't believe in Weeb. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Uh, well, let's get this underway, though. We have a total amount of 999 coolness bet. Let's not ruin that. You can still bet, but I hope you don't, because I want to, like, have the nice little number here. Look, weeps are cool. They know that DST is bullshit. Oh! Oh! You... You f Both of you see me after class. Monsters. It would be a nice number if Suman, not Suman, like the other S, Sadim, was in the match. I don't think it's been a singles match in a long time. It's been a reasonable second. Let's rock. I don't know how long it's been, but it doesn't matter. Sure, they will impress. Or maybe Hank will impress, I don't know. But the first actual, like, Main roster person to lose to one of the Young Devils gets uh, a free shot at the Jabroni, yeah! Mm. And we've been in contention, I think, very recently. I don't think they actually had a match for it, though. For 
Weeb's pretty in control. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of a, a striker with a lot of submissions, so they have to be in control, otherwise they won't do much. I updated the looks of some wrestlers, yeah, we was one of them. Gave her some new DLC hair. I thought that was new hair. Yeah. It's from the like latest Stardom pack, I think. I don't even know. But yeah, they got new hair. Mm -hmm. It's even like multicolored, depending on their attire. Dropping him on his head. And oh. I thought maybe they can fly this far, but hey. The seam knots. Not broke nothing. Can they fly this far? Oh no! <laughs> Alas. The cell for kicking him in the head. How about this time? Yes. And a one. And a two. And oh, ah. he's got fight. I mean, it's just five minutes though, and he's been in training for a long while. Plus, Freddy Hope is his trainer, so I'd be shocked yeah. if he just went down this easily. It's about ten minutes for Terra to go down. So, <gasps> oh, cute! We got bunny ears now. Well, happy Easter. Ah, uh, I can't wait for midnight when I tell you that your god is no longer dead if you're Christian. that or oh, yeah shining wizard magic whatever I don't know nice. that move was called flash magic in one of the older WWE games I kind of prefer that name for some reason Continue. <laughs> kick to the head never gets old Hensigiri now. Yep. Ooh, with a vertical suplex. Oh, Hank's getting a bit tired. All's getting some moves in, though. Continue. Oh, there we go. That's what we call the Arachnid Script, which, well, it's an octopus hole. There's these wrestlers that have spider themes, so. Yes. One of them happens to be our Ooh, champ currently. Back. Yeah. Ooh, headbutt. Really like nice drop kick, but we've got to seal the deal now. Yes, that's true, Shakespeare. He's lasted longer than Terra did. Gotten in more offense too, I think.
I love that kick. It's a good shit. I love that too with connects. Oh, going for a pin after body slam? Just two. Ugh. It looks like uh, Hank's actually doing stuff now. Got another headbutt for his troubles. We haven't seen this much office from Weeb in a while either. Continue. Continue. Looks like it's getting dangerous though. Hank's doing surprisingly well. What's this madness? Don't tell me you're going for a dive. I don't know, real dive. Just the max handle. Up there. Oh, I don't want to end like this. <laughs> oh. Ooh, very close. We're getting very close to meeting Lee here. It's quite worrying. Well... Just was that like a five star match? Rejected. Mm, too close to the damn ropes. Cool. Fucking rope breaks ruin everything. It's not his debut. Yeah, he's been around before. It's been a while, but he has been around before. Exactly what match. <laughs> and ooh. What the hell? Scorpion death drop. And yeah, thanks Lolo for the raid. Yes. Rank this retro game. Or don't. Just rank the first one with the Bizarro story. That's not the first one. <laughs> That's one of them. God, they're going outside no. again. Apparently. Oh, what? Wow. Holy shit! Oh. How about that jabroni title shot you promised? Yeah. God damn it. Countouts shouldn't really count, but they count because it's literally in the name. So, whatever. Yeah, that's why Plumeri was there, so... Yeah, pretty much. Countdowns happen a lot more as of late, somehow. Bullshit! 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 It could be worse. Yeah. One of the young devils actually won. It's a hollow victory, though. It's not a real one. It's a victory, though. Well, at least he can go back to Freddy and say that he won. Unlike <laughs> Sexton and Tara. Yeah. Uh, and then Freddy tells Hank why he always requests uh, no countouts for his matches, which is rarely granted, but sometimes it is. And then he puts Hank against uh, Harley and whoever Sexton thought. This is a. In a 2 on 1, -one match. This is some lore I just made up. Can do that. 
Mm. Oh, speaking of the person that Saxton fought that one time along with the others, Palpy. Saxton received mm. an elbow drop to the ass. Like a galactic elbow to the ass. It's just straight up legal. Mm. Terrible pep talk, sir. Look. I don't think anyone ever claimed he was good at this. Well, who wouldn't backstab Tommy with so? Um... Every character that... Actually, yeah, even the characters that Tommy wrote backstab him. God damn. I was gonna say, that was the whole plot of the room. <laughs> it's getting backstabbed. <laughs> oh my god. You're right. Everything's horrible. If you're called Tommy Wiseau, at least. I'm sure they're fine, Palpy. Maybe you should have let Coco Demon do the talking. I don't think we've ever heard him talk before, but I think he would have done a better job than you. I have a feeling that Coco Demon has the exact same voice as Hanma. Yeah, this is our next match. Mm. We got pineapple pizza there. I'm not a tag match in a while. Then again, neither did uh, Real Beer Float. But... Well, Real Beer Float's had some singles matches. Sprinkles actually went against the Vacants and ended up doing pretty well. Didn't win, but did better than some. Yeah, oh yeah. Speaking of Vacant contenders, I set it up so only people who haven't had faced Vacant yet will be up for vote for a while. Mm. Until everybody has had their chance once. Oh, we got an extraordinary amount of bets on... Not amount of bets, but like, amount betted on pineapple pizza. Just need, uh... 95 more for 999. Get 30 seconds. Make it a reality. Or regret this forever. Mmm. Now that parts creator is out, so, uh, Austin can finally get a cowboy hat. Unfortunately, nobody's made any hats yet. Because mm. also, uh, <laughs> Mr. Shakedown desperately needs a hat. Yeah. And Sprinkles needs a, uh, well, camo top. General needs a more army-looking outfit. 
I mean, I... There is a, like, a camel pattern for, for the top now, but... Mmm. That's what I like to hear. I try to apply it, but the game sometimes Let's crashes go. when I try to do that. Because so many times, yeah. like, parts being there and everything. Probably have to, like, take some away. Oh, but like, we got two wrestlers who do, like, a lot of submissions in the ring right now. The thing is that Austin goes a lot of arm-based submissions against someone with no arms. That was a cool exchange there. Yeah, that pineapple did nothing to save. That's I mean, look, pizza came out on top, so it's fine. Oh no, the madness already! God damn. That's it. Should be an instant win. Oh, bring in. Fine, I will pull back in already. Pineapple's just a sick move, so naturally they have to come back in. part of the match where there's lots of knees to faces. Oh no! What the hell? Mm. Oh damn. Latin in Austin. It's like worse than Burning Hammer. Which nobody ever kicks out of. Well, apparently that was too much for Pineapple, but he's out. Look, that was a move, you know. You gotta, like, Recover after that, even after you do it. Let's see. Oh. What did you? You're suplexing him into an armbar. Mm. Fancy. Continue. Are you ready? Not in the mood for handshakes right now, apparently. Apparently not. Lots of tags from these, wow. <laughs> well. Oh, that was almost gonna be a choke slam or something, but. Quite the reversal. Rejected. 
Oh, that again. Rest in peace, Sprinkles. Mm. Yep. She had the bridge figure four. The fucking knee bar. Good Not shit. Enough. Just lots of submissions now from Cheese Pizza. Austin got some in, but not that many. Craft, something like that can happen. I don't even know. Then again, something tied to counter style can't really be a move, unfortunately. Yeah. Maybe with mods, I don't know. Yeah, actually, that might be possible. I'm just not ever gonna set it up. Awesome, finally making a bit of a comeback here. Yeah. Oh, just let him tag out, wow. Oh, well, you notice that a lot of people in this game don't do much to stop tags. They've been actively going out of the way, you're like, yeah, come on, tag. Oh shit, the mandible claw. Trying to stuff the pineapple down his throat or whatever. Oh shit! A Canadian backbreaker? Or a weirder looking torture rack that only really strains one half of your body strongly. As the person doing it. Because it fucks up your spine. Probably. I'm gonna hmm. assume. <laughs> yes! One! Aw, oh, too bad. That would've been that would have been the best finish ever. Ooh, pulling them to the middle of the ring and oh well. Not that it makes a difference anyway. I forget who's legal sometimes. It's pizza and Austin at the moment. Well, now I know because they're both in the ring, but. Oh, well, that was painful. Oh no. That could have been it. It was not that over. Oh no, this again. Pineapple has lost oh. it. Snap. Yeah.
<laughs> I was thinking we'd see like a sick move to the corner, but nah. <laughs> nope, it's just getting him out of life for a bit. Yeah, just let it happen. Just if this is it, I'm gonna cry. Well, good thing it's not it. The arachnid script! Or, well, whatever. Doesn't even look like it. Whatever it's called when pizza does it. It's called the string cheese entangling thing. Ah, well, it's gonna be a countdown. Oh, good. Because <laughs> they they have been involved in countouts before. That's true. That's how the other flip won their first match. Yeah, just just yeah. God, I was hoping for the fabled corner, like, double team, but nah, almost never happens. No, just kind of those. Well, the ones that are obviously articles of food are the ones on one team, and the ones that just lost are on the other. Pineapple pizza are at it again. I hate, I hate when any promotion puts over the mandible claw. Mm. Even AEW is doing it. it. Makes no sense. It's a shit move. You put your finger in somebody's mouth, and that's supposed to do something? Yanking on the teeth. The business is dead. Hmm. By which I mean good. Oh, oh yeah, too bad. What if I want to bite? I don't know. Jaw's incredibly strong. Maybe not stronger than pineapple fingers. I don't know. I'm an expert on pineapple anatomy. Hmm. Ah, well. It is time. For the next match, which features Grace. Cool Animal Crossing remix, perfect. It's Grace Thorson versus Canada Alderman. Mm. Grace has won that big bad tournament. And, uh,. She's already challenged and has been granted the match against Harmony for the pay-per-view at Doomsgate 64 next week. But you know. Um, still wants to take on some challengers. Because she, she wants to fight. Pineapple Pizza won that one. Shock and horror. Also, this match. What's happening now? <laughs> Just. 
Shakespeare going all in as always. Don't even have Boop in this match. Then again, Boop did also win. Boop's got the Dark White title now. Won it from Leia. I know, yeah, Grace is wearing the Danger Spider shirt. Thanks to custom parts being easily implemented now without mods. Ah, well, I'll give you 30 more seconds, though. Danger woman entering the ring. I didn't notice before, but I see the crowd's back. Yeah, um, I didn't want to mention it, but the thing is, I realized that, like, the coronavirus can't actually travel through time. Because The Onion mm. is not actually a reputable news source, it's a satire news site. So I just said, yeah, no, that's probably bullshit. I'm not gonna worry about that anymore. Now we have a crowd again. See, Keanu also has a new haircut. It's the same, just slightly higher res, I guess. Let's rock. Let's rock. This only have a couple of ha haircuts now. Because, like, all the DLC hair is higher res. Like, this has, in fact, already happened to Grace before I started doing it. And to Harmony as well. There's the word fucking in that song title. I'm not gonna get banned off of Twitch. Oh, starting with that shit already. Grace hasn't even worked leg yet. Hmm. Little fisherman. Suplex slash buster right away. Yeah, go back and forth forever. Oh, well, the moment I say that, of course. Maybe yes. I should start calling winners to strike exchanges again. I can't believe Canada tried that this close to the ropes. Rejected. It's a very methodical match so far, though. But I can't wait till Canada starts flying. Because that's what she does. Rejected. Uh, 
Ah, yes. There we go. Working the leg. Oh no! Attacking with our butt, that should be illegal. You boring feds. That was a very interesting spot there. Yes, back and forth, nothing. Screw again, and again, and again. Ah. Uh. And again, and again, and again. No answer, one of her own. Yes. Just fuck that leg and the cons of legs in general. Come on. Yes, this is that part of the match now. <laughs> Yeah, make make sure to <laughs> drag her to the rope. That's how you win matches. Yes. Whoever gets the most rope breaks wins. Also, here's a Kochi clutch. Continue. Mm. Seems mostly Grayson control, but those that's getting hurt then. There's some amount of back and forth. Oh, right there. Don't strike exchange with Grace though. Unless you do. Sometimes. It's not this time though. Or the previous time. Oh, we can see some some flying. Oh yeah. <laughs> God, suicide dive. I'm just yep. waiting. <laughs> just yeah, I did my move. Come back in, you fool. Grace doesn't want to win via count out. She wants to get an actual win. But does Canada feel the same way? Yeah, fuck that leg. I would imagine so. The win here would be big for Canada. Yeah, it still would mean that Grace still gets that match, though. That might have some implications yeah. for later. Yes, it would mean she lost her momentum Ooh. going into it. Go for a springboard dropkick, and now? Oh, here, here finish a double rotation Ooh. moonsault. One, two. Oh, Brett's rope. Oh. I was from the top rope. Well, no, the, the one she did before, the drop kick. Yeah, that was from, like, like I was kind of springboarding from the second rope. Another Kochi clutch yes. now. That's from Brett's rope. The deadliest rope. But I would have been shitty if, if she now lost after doing her finisher. With the next move is done to her. That happened to not a robot. Yeah, which is why he was in the thing in the chip chiproni. Just in case you were wondering if the book can actually make sense. Kind of. Getting close. Oh, the Rana. Might be going for it again. Oh no. 
Oh, the Rana the from the back. rope. And what's next? Woo. Oh, shit. Damn. This is the Canada that was like held like several titles at some point. At the same time though. Yeah, she is only one hell weight away from having a quadruple crown. That was kind of a thing when uh, Fomori was also going for it. They had to kind of fight each other over who gets the shot. Fomori ended up beating them to it. Well, but actually, I think... Oh my god, it's going to the ass now. Yes. Bam. Oh god, the murder! Oh god, two double chase moonsaults! And still kicks out of fucking two! Uh, no. She kind of did the same against Flamander, though. No. She didn't win in that one, I don't think. She did! That's the tournament final. Oh, I thought we were talking about Rosette. Oh, oh yeah, right, she also fought. Commander at some point. And no, she didn't win, I'm pretty sure she did. Yeah. Combo from Rosette. She's just doing it now, isn't she? Yeah. Oh. She decided that she wants to win this now. One, two. Still no. Oh god, the dragon screw <laughs> to the outside. Yeah. Fuck. Ow. That's ah, a count out now. We just both know that. Ah, okay, maybe not. No, I don't think you're both getting back in. Smart. Oh, the Ushiguroshi! Yeah, this has been quite... Quite the but... comeback for Rosan until there. Yeah, she dominated for a while there. Although, she's not out yet. This match has been going for a while, though. Yeah. Nearly 22 minutes. Back to the dragon screw. Not called the OHP dub special for nothing. Oh, missed the butt splash. Oh, where'd she go? Well, I can't see her either. Up to the outside. That might be trying to. Nah. Oh. Oh, now we're going up. Yes. Oh. Oh, God. Tornado. DDT. And she gets up first. And. No, oh, this. Damn. Wow. Is that not on the ropes? Oh, oh, she's doing the thing. Three fishermen. One, two. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, just go for maybe an hour. Okay, please do that. Please do do that. Super kick! And elbow. Yeah. Big uppercut from Rosette. Oh, oh, there we go! The saving grace. 
This gotta be it, though. Mm. One, two, three. Yep. Well, that sure was a match. I didn't, like, think it'd go that long. But it did. The match ended via finisher. Isn't that cool? I suppose. If you're into that sort of thing. Actual finishing move finishing a match? Holy shit! It's almost like this is WWE or New Japan Pro Wrestling or some other fed. Yeah! Hmm. Well. Yeah, up next we got a different match though. The Aura versus Criminal Sanity, um, just how it is. First, look at these I people. We were... Yes, here I thought we were going to do the same match twice. Ah, uh, no. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe eventually. <laughs> we'll find an excuse for the same match twice on the same card or something. President Vacation Skeleton. Oh, this fucker. Yeah, like it just just know when to stop. Yeah. Also, doesn't know how to do a cool teleport in effect like MGM. Mom. But these are really hard to do, and yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh, Dash of Fear is burying the other dashes. Or, like, well, the husks. Mm. This is the feud of the century, you just know it. Mmm. Yeah, Palpy is constantly mad at things that didn't happen, and Vacation Skeleton isn't mad at things that apparently did happen, but maybe didn't. I don't know. Like, they're completely different people. Crazy, I know that. Ah, uh, well, here we are. This is that match. Uh, okay. This is that match now, okay? Didn't want to start. And yeah, I did abort that timer. It says it started the timer, I aborted the timer. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Mm.
Well, that said, how about your 30 second thing? Start the bout. Because no one has saved Niara. <laughs> I mean. me. Yeah, fool. My guys have lost it as a unit. Unless it's Palpy. just ain't gelling anymore. Unless Palpy did another pep talk that actually wasn't bad, I have no real faith in, well, the aura. Angus slowly walking out there, apparently. Yeah. Or tried to make a point out of uh, letting Palpy wait. Mm. Palpy, you doing the Palpy dance? She looks a lot like the anime dance. Mm. Doing other dances too. And here comes Criminal Sanity. A group that I honestly keep forgetting is a thing. Well, they're less of a tag team and more of a stable, really. I'm Daddy making everybody wait just to, you know, let Slap these fuckers know what's coming. That's interesting. Huh. Looks like a walkout just happened. Palpy's huh. on his own now. Well. Oh. Well, oh, this is now a handicap match. <laughs> He's putting that union to work, I guess. Well, Palpy's still doing the Palpy thing. Reject it. There's no way Palpy's not getting his ass kicked, though. It would be sad if he could still beat Criminal Sanity on his own. He did have a pretty lengthy bunny title reign, which ended with him losing by 30 count. Or 300 count, I don't even know. It was a lot. Oh. Ego doing something I haven't seen before. Going out of the ring. Ah, yeah, sure. Let's just uh, let Undeady hand was for a moment. Was teasing Super Ego running wild. Ooh, the camel clutch. Continue. Continue. Ooh, an elbow drop to nothing. Oh, it's shakedowns to Palpy, you're dead. Sorry you had to learn this way. Inferno kick. Albi is doing surprisingly well against people so far. <laughs> He's doing something. He's doing like normal, I guess. <laughs> um, it was going to the corner trying to tag, I think. <laughs> then Ring went, oh, right. I fucked up. <laughs> oh. This is what we're doing now, huh? Yep. I mean, 
Help you wanted a beatdown. Yeah, the beatdown. He is receiving that beatdown. Oh, onto the light tube. Oh, resetting the counts even. It's more fun that way, isn't it? Yeah. Again, or not. Oh, mm. now they're back in the ring. Now Mimic wants a bite too. Yeah. Everyone getting their shit in. Got nothing to stop them. Yeah, that's legal. Brass nuts for Mimic. Pulling it out of his chest. And a one. And a two. Just lay down. Cool. Yep. Well, interesting. At least it wasn't smart enough. Uh, it was smart enough to not kick out. Maybe it just wasn't capable anymore. I don't even know. Yes, he did get beaten down on the outside. Well, it would be unfair oh. to to let people lose coolness on that. So you're all gonna lose coolness with that. <laughs> so, no, only one person bet on uh, the aura, so... Yeah, whatever, everybody gets coolness. I just click on this button like a million times. Check it out. I don't know how much that was, it was a lot. Well, somehow... The aura lost. Yeah. Hmm, weird. Yeah. Oh, you put the winning bet in as draw. I know, that's some purpose. Ah. Instead, I give coolness to everybody. Hmm. Like, it's obviously not a draw, but it's like... So nobody wins coolness, just everybody gets an equal amount of coolness, which is very cool and a lot. Yes. Well... I stopped the... pressing that button Genie. like 50 seconds ago, come on! Well, yeah, but also... wonder what happens. But also, yeah. Oh, here they are. wonder what happened. Yeah, it's like... Well, Falpy, listen now. Oh, it's this guy. The title of this episode is Death of Capitalism 2. Just FYI. Mm. Consider this a title drop. I'm pointing this out. Hmm. Well, the next match is something that, uh... Well, I gotta prepare because it's a vacant thing. Let's see, can I write everybody's name into the poll without Twitch telling me I can't? I don't know, can you? I'll try. Now, Agnes Paragon can't possibly be a bad word. Boop Marley, hmm. <laughs> Let's see. For the man. Oh, Kochi Kochi Naka. Help. Oh. Kochi Kochinaga isn't like offensive in some language. Accidentally. 
That's... How come Lube's on the list? Isn't he the Darklight champion? Oh, you're right! Let's re-roll the dice to somebody else who hasn't faced Vacant yet. Hmm. Well, I don't know, I don't have my dice here. Let's do Steve Dirt again. Maybe he'll finally get it one of these days. Didn't Steve Dirt? Well, whatever, I'm just gonna put him there. But I thought you already did face Vacant once. Ah, well, it's not a no. hard fast rule anyway. He's just been in the poll a bunch. He also has been in the Bacon match, I'm pretty sure. He just lost. It was before our, the was the Bunny title thing. But po I'm possibly misremembering things, though. Who knows? I'm pretty sure Steve's never fought Bacon. I think he did. But there's also a chance that he didn't. Well, cool, it's a tie between Agnes, Steve, and Florida Man now. No love for Kochi. Kochi's the most likely one to win here. Okay, good, now it's a far away tie. Thank you for listening to me. Wanna put another one for Chan, maybe? I don't know. Hmm, two Florida Man now. Hmm. Still change that maybe. You don't have to. I'm fine with it. Oh, now it's a far away tie between Agnes, Steve, Dirt, Koji Kushnaka, and Chan. But Florida Man, thankfully, has one vote more, so it's probably gonna be him. There's still a chance to fuck everything over though and make it an actual tie again. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much for... I shouldn't talk. I should be banned from talking. Well, Maya already fought against Vacant. But not for the bunny title. Which is a different rule set that is less combat sporty and more pro wrestling y. Oh, I don't remember half the people who actually did it. Well, you get a vote for either Chan or Florida Man now. Otherwise, it'll be a tie. And if I break it, it's gonna be for Florida, man. Good luck, good. Oh, come on! Maybe it's for Steve Dirt now. <laughs> if I gonna break the tie. Oh, okay, okay, somebody did the Florida man thing. Apparently when it's tied, it doesn't, uh, well, whatever. Let me set that up, then. Yes, there you go. Florida, man. Yeah. I was about to call it in favor of... ...of, uh, Steve Darth there, but then Florida got yet another vote. There we go. Always betting on the underdog. Except sometimes. If anything, Florida, Florida man. man will at least dance while Vacant is lying down in pain. 
Florida man escaping the quarantine to be here with us. Appreciate his efforts. I'm not even sure if he's really from Florida. Well, that would be a poor choice of name then. I don't know! This is all a very deep and layered issue that I know nothing about. But let's just give everybody 30 more seconds to bet or not bet. I don't even know. This is for the bunny title, by the way, like, in case that wasn't clear. Hmm. Yes, well. The bunny title is vacant. We have a wrestler called Vacant. And here's the most legendary wrestler of all time. Check it out. That's all right. not Ric Flair. Well, wh whatever. Okay, if Vacant can win this match, Vacant will be tied with uh, with Black for longest reigning bunny champ. Starting us off. Oh, well, you say that. Starting us off by fucking getting thrown out of the ring. On his head, too. Shit. Ow. Introducing a stapler well, at least to the he's match. Not the stapler. Oh, that's not the right ref. Yeah, um. But just a goat man is in quarantine. He, uh. Mm. Was in contact with somebody, I guess. Even though the air in hell probably kills the coronavirus, but we were still scared enough not to have a crowd for a couple weeks. Not in the goat dimension. I don't think Majestic Gopin has access to the goat dimension right now. Oh, uh, it's like for him because that's where his business is. And life. Yeah, it kind of sucks for him, though, because it's evil. Damn. Florida man dodging the stomp. Well, not anymore. Oh god, he's bleeding! Yeah, so he landed on the stapler. Yeah, he's- Oh yeah, no, that's a staple bleed! That's ha <laughs> I'm dead bleed! The stomps from, uh, Bacon. It's not enough. <laughs> Oh, he's completely leaking! He's bleeding hard away! Yeah, Jesus. Well, that's a... That's a deathmatch wrestler for you, I guess. Or somebody who wrestles deathmatch wrestlers all the time, but isn't necessarily one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ow. such a good idea, that stapler. So much blood. No. First. Might as well be remembered as the guy who bled to death against Vacant. Vertical suplex counter, not a vertical suplex. Uh, one of these days, Vacant will have a match against Kelsey or Steve. And then we'll see if he bleeds.
Well, the thing is, Thorman doesn't bleed easily, but when he does, boy, does he fucking bleed. Yes. Case in point, this... this mess. Well, they gotta... They gotta prepare the battlefield for Massacre, I guess, because the next match will be the, uh... Seven Deadly Pins match. <laughs> you can't have that without buckets of blood being in the ring. That's just the law. Actually, this is not a thing. It's just something I made up just now. Oh, there for a guy who's literally dying in front of us, Florida Man is doing pretty well. Nearly gone 10 minutes. I see Florida Man has already endeared himself to the crowd by bleeding and dying, literally, currently. Big dog. Uh, oh my god. Two. Another one, too? That would have been a thing. It's just doing the smart thing, waiting for Bacon to get up instead. He's uh, choking him out there. Look, as a rule for one, dead people stay dead. It's just really hard to die. Because healthcare is really good here. And free. Gassed. Oh, there we go. Classic Florida man. The head and pants pile driver. First. Oh, throwing him again on his freaking neck. This time, at least, he doesn't land outside the ring. Yeah. Ow. But he got up first, so... Because he's stupid! Or resilient. Maybe both. Oh, I'm not a big dog. That's right, exchange. Look, public, there's never ramp spots. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> and the one time it did, it was... <laughs> just a dive to the ramp with nobody being there. It was the best thing ever. Ego's proudest moment. That was clearly on the ropes. Come on, ref. Screw the concept of ropes. Oh my god. Ouch. Oh, now Florida Man's doing the. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, that's good. That's, they don't fly too. Close enough. In the side. Oh, what's that? But maybe for a second, yeah, I'm just gonna stay out here forever. Can't touch me down. Oh god. Oh, pile driver on the stapler. Damn. One, two. Also pretty close to the ropes. Oh no, this is like under the freaking thing, the stapler. The most dangerous object in the ring currently. Just ignore that sickle over there. Ah, that's it now. Rest in piss. Well, almost. Alas, that's what. Now he calls him on the ropes. No skelly ref is repping because, well, he's ignoring rope spots. Three, 
Oh, this is it now, though, isn't it? One. Maybe. Two. Oh, Vegas is also bleeding. Yeah. Ah. I guess that answers that question. Oh, has anyone ever made Vacant bleed? Well, I think yes, but now definitely. You just know when he whips out the stomps that Vacant doesn't care anymore, just wants the opponent to just stay down. Didn't even use the burning hammer, though. No. Well, I didn't expect Florida Man to do this well, to be quite honest, but here we are. Here we are. Yes. No, I believe that was Coca Demon literally dragging Palpy in front of the interview wall. Hmm. He's got something to say. Very important. Also just whining so far. Yeah, I mean, it's classic Pelpy stuff, really. Whatever. All you had to do was pay them. Look, not even that, because whatever. Like, it's... Ah, whatever. Pelpy just... All you had to do was not be an idiot. Good evening to your boss, buddy. I'm gonna kick your shit in if you keep talking like that. Oh, I'm glad that you realize that Coco Demon is Palpy's boss because Palpy obviously doesn't. Despite calling him his supervisor like, like last week. Palpy can't conceive of a world where other people are his boss. Like this fellow. I can't believe the weird demon thing is the voice of reason here. I'll be calling the CEO that guy. Well, that leaves us with only the main event to go. These people, the seven deadly pins match with Caillou as the current champ. And you know what? Always bet on DCB. I too am curious to what Bill to ah. I too am curious Billy as to what the goat monster's office is like. Considering he shouldn't have one. Being that he just randomly popped into existence. I think his office is uh like, you know 
Yeah. It's, it's just but not Goatman's office because that belongs to him. Just some. Ru I, I mean, they're the same person, but also really not. Maybe it's like I don't know. Like maybe they drew like a line in the middle of the office, and Goatman gets one half, and Gold Monster gets the other. Or maybe it's more of a, a general like concept of office. Not an actual like mm. office. Maybe he just likes to call the sculpt his office. I don't know. Ah well, thirty seconds. Place bets, change them. We'll just hop in. And enjoy the chaos. So you haven't had one of these eight people matches in a while. Like, we've had them last pay-per-view, sure, but that was like a... Everybody... No, we didn't, actually. No. It was like 30 people a match, though, same thing. It's the Royal Rumble. It was a tournament, a kind of... Oh, look, Rick's entering first. <laughs> I'm glad that the I left the, my corpsing in at the end of the song. Up next is Spitball. He beats up Palpy during the tournament. Oh, it's, looks no, it's like anime. it's time for an anime. the dance. I'm sure this won't be the last time we see the dance today. It also wasn't the first time. That's probably the heel did it first. Now it's... King Skelly. Nothing else to say about this. It's King Skeleton! King Skeleton. Alright, it's Caillou. That's the champ not coming out last, apparently. It's more or less random as far as I can tell. Maybe the new champ entering the last, I don't know. Cause I bet on DCB. Yeah. Well. Oh yeah, oh we're seeing it again! First after <laughs> yeah! Mm. Right, that's just her new thing. A certain dominance! Oh and... wait, no, that wasn't even the last. Cause Hasmat yeah, is still say. here. I was not coming in last for some reason. Just the order they appeared, I guess. I, I'm not sure. Like, it just showed up at Gorilla, and that's how they came out. Oh, still not the last. Oh, yeah, we got that guy. I forgot about that guy. It's one well. Oh. I think he's the least likely person to win, but he has held the belt before, so... I don't know. Which means it's not that unlikely. It was a corpse for him to pray over, though, last time. Yeah. Let's rock! There we go. Yes. Oh, 
and Rick and uh, Caillou were facing off. Well, um, a little more like Spitball and Caillou for a while there. Rick yeah. didn't touch Caillou once yet, I think. No, that's who he started off with, was Caillou. Turn of chaos. Not being able to call anything. Well, you could call a lot of stuff here, like, for instance, <laughs> uh, King Skeleton trying to rip Caillou's face open. Yeah. Or Rick just having done a drop kick, probably the most actual maneuver he ever did. Yes, yeah, teaming up with Caillou in that one. Oh, the transition will move to, uh, anime. I'm just not seeing that. Like, if you got a delay, maybe, like, try to avoid doing play anime, because it will very much confuse me. Well, the best I can do. The screen share is not working. Sunset flip power bomb there in the corner at least. Yeah, that's quite nice. Oh, the beats are squaring off. Rick versus King Skelly. Oh, he's teamed up to do a 3D. Well, if we have like a little bit of three in one corner, and oh wait, it's thinning out now. Oh, it's still three in one corner, just different one now. The five in the other. Yeah. Oh, he's bleeding. Maybe everybody should bleed. So that can be arranged. Angel's wings against the guy with invincible arms. Good. Well, if you yanks those arms off, they're not invincible anymore, are they? Yeah, well, but you gotta do that first. Canadian destroyer oh, on King clown. Skeleton. And more Canadian destroyers. This one spitball. Yes. Oh, there's a fork in the ring now. Yeah, and DZB just fell on it, and the containment unit on anime. Oh my. Luckily, DZB was there to save the day. <laughs> Everybody amassing on top of the fork. One, two. That would have been a thing for sure. Nearly 10 minutes and no one eliminations. And I, at this point, elbow drop to the ass, though. Maybe the only way yeah. to feed Rick too thick. And the claw now. Uh, two elbow drops to the ass. 
ECB got one too from Hazvat. I think Rick's bleeding now too. Look, Rick got an elbow drop to the ass, so of course his face will be bleeding. I don't think he is though. Oh. Anime's got the first. Oh, and BCB's bleeding now. And Anime Dance. Oh! That heel Rick interrupting it. Ooh, the one winged angel. A transitional song. Oh, the torture rack to King's. And the Rainmaker! DCB standing tall in the middle of the chaos, doing a flip bump off the middle rope. Yeah. And Ooh. whiffing her wow. signature Rana there. The whiff being the signature bit. Fork in the middle of the ring, very dangerous. Don't want to land on that fork. Spitball's tired. Oh, what? Oh, I think Lem Will's out. Uh, yep, he's dead. Just got his legs broken. Now he's walking out with his broken legs. Oh, he's soon a drop. Amazingly, in spite of being credited, he got up and left of his own power. I mean, yeah. Gotta leave eventually. <laughs> yep. Or he just, you know stay there, like everyone else that gets critted. Oh, torture rack and DCB. And we're dancing over to Pulse Corps. Ooh, and now he... Oh, God. And skeleton flying the outside. Oh, the claw of the hazmat. I think Spitball's out now, yeah. Yep. Submitted by DZB. Actually, yeah, there's two outs. Hasna's out, out, out too. Out yeah, the anime took him out. It's weird to see King Skelf not being the first to leave. I mean, Lemuel was in the match, so. I mean, yeah. It's always gonna get close call. It's not really Lemuel's fault, though. I mean, maybe a little bit. With the fisherman's to anime. I hate the mandible claw. There's but also the dead. the EBD claw though, slightly different. It's also stupid, but it's also great. These bees being really bad now. Yeah, it's getting forked. So <laughs> going on vacation with King Skelly there. Yeah, monk. Oh god. <laughs> Not capitalizing Fox slash two three and anime is out. It's <laughs> just two people like three of one Marvel black oh god. Two people in the corner at once. Oh my god, the victory roll on DCB. Oh, but DCB kicks out. It's just these four on the ring. I think it's pretty clear that Rick will take the win, but also he's not really built for long matches. Unless he goes so long, he sort of back around from being exhausted to being fresh. Oh, this one, Caillou, is, is all also in... Oh god, Kai is out. Yep. Gonna have a new champ. Submitted to the reverse victory roll. One, two. Oh no.
no. <laughs> that would've been a thing. Yeah, throw him outside! Mm. Oh no, the entire weight of... He's very slow, I can tell. Oh shit. Runko Buster. This guy is also gas now. Everybody is gas. No one. Just has to be. Not BCB. Well, DCP is also DCP. Oh, the Blue Thunder Bomb. And one. Two. I haven't seen. Yeah. Oh, Canadian Destroyer onto the fork! God damn it. Not over a pin, though. Back bump onto the fork. Somehow interrupting for no reason. Yeah, what a fool. <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> classic. Pink skeleton. Rick too thick, DZB, and somehow King Skeleton. Oh, choking out King Skeleton. Was. Not really anymore, like that's long in the past. But Isuna drop on Rick Too Thick! <laughs> the Bulldog and oh, all these moves. Can you imagine if the final two will be anyone? Any of these, but not Rick Too Thick? That would be weird. Mm. DCP drops on the fork again. Oh, we almost a double team move in the corner there. Oh shit, the Dream Limited Lux Death combo. That'd be enough. Oh shit, one. Two, three. Oh yeah. god, it's between DCP and Rick Too Thick. Ah, uh, Rick thinks he's got this. Probably does, right. but... Oh, what's this? Send them to the outside. Oh yeah, the moonsault! DCP! And the Asuna drop! The outside. Victory roll on the outside doesn't matter though. Does damage. GM out of nowhere, or DCB out of nowhere, you should call it. Mm. Oh god, it's now in the part of the ring. Or like. Oh, it's a transitional move! One! Mm. Two! Three! No, we did it. The move transitioned into the pin! And the win. No one kicks out of a transitional move, damn it. And yes, as you can see here, it's actually called the transitional move.
or a transition move, not even the, but holy shit, yeah, that was a good ending. <laughs> I'm happy about this somehow. Hmm. Ah, okay then. DZB won, I bet on DZB. I'm the only one who bet on DZB. Suck it. Should have bet on DCB, idiots. <laughs> but that was our main event. What a main event it was. But the show is over now because, hey, after the main event, there's no more event because it has to like end after the main event, otherwise not a real main event, which is why there's no such thing as a co-main event. And if I say there is at some point or already did, then I clearly lied. Mm. But, you know, uh, I guess it's time for the customary raid. And it looks like Action Shakespeare started streaming again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Well, everybody, thanks for coming out to watch the show. Next week we'll have a pay-per-view called At Doomsgate 64. It's like the first pay-per-view name that we recycle, mainly because... Uh, Doom came out last month. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Any wise words? No. Good. Then let us do the raid thing. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.